Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the extra long run where we are playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So last time, uh, hang on, let me move my mic a little bit, sorry. Okay, so last time um, we finished chapter 6, we met the uh, queen of, the true queen of Agnes, and it turns out to be Nia, who, as I mentioned at the time, is one of the main characters from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And I have no idea how she figures into this story, but hopefully we'll get to find out as the story progresses. Let me go ahead and press continue, and we can be um, flooded with about 15 minutes of cutscenes, probably. N and M. Another version of us. What are we really? Why do we exist in the first place? The answers are within me, together with her hopes and dreams. I will give them a voice. I will make him hear our truth. Three hundred days remain to the intersection. It seems we might make it. Yes. It took every bit of our combined intellects, but we built it. To prepare for the time our two worlds collide. All that we are is contained within. Memories and our souls. We will all be gone, and then reborn. Will it be a new beginning? Or our demise. No one can tell us that. Time will run its due course. And show us the true meaning of our deed. So that's gotta be the Queen of Kevis, but I do not recognize her at all. In the distant past, what was once a single world was cleft in twain. Plus and minus, on the surface, they were identical. These two worlds of opposing nature knew nothing of each other as they wended their way towards their own respective futures. However, the worlds yearned for each other against the solitude of existence. They strove to reunite. Though it would spell certain destruction, should the two worlds intersect, they would cancel each other out and cease to be, leaving only light. Light, a shining beacon in the darkness, the last common language left to us. Though we inhabited separate worlds, the medium of light allowed us to communicate for the very first time. And so we sought for a way to prevent total oblivion. 
We pooled our knowledge and through time gave birth to a single point of hope. Origin. An arc containing all the world's data recorded in words of light, carrying hope into the future. Origin was a system we constructed to reboot the world's states. And then, time was upon us. The reboot process failed to initiate. Instead, in that instant, the worlds became still. By the will of Mobius. So it's their fault. And at the heart of it was their ringleader, Zed. You could say Zed embodies this frozen world. But what does that achieve? Freezing everything. Not a thing. He didn't need to do anything after that. Only... to keep everything in its place in stasis, and create an eternity to abide within. As was their wish. He made our lives their sustenance. Precisely so. In order to gain control of Origin, Zed captured the Kavesi Queen. To what end? To access the memories in Origin. To bend them to his will. He needed a key held only by its creators. A key? A heart might be more fitting. Zed used the key held by the Queen of Kevis and seized Origin in its entirety. Controlling Origin means controlling the world. And having shackled it, he can bend it to his will. Life and death are his playthings. Life and... death. No one, not even M, knew the origins of this world. So I guess you have another key. Yes, it's in my possession. With its help, I was able to create... the Ouroboros Stones. Though most of the power is with Zed, I have been able to resist him to a small extent. It's a cogwheel? One of the gears from Origin. Through a process of catalysis between the Origin substrate and the core in my chest, I can generate the stones. And thanks to that, we became Ouroboros. Yes, but not completely. Huh? Remember, have you not succumbed to Mobius's power before? <sighs> As I've said before, Zed commands the world's very fabric. Unfortunately, my own powers are sorely limited. And yet, you two can break Zed's fetters, as you've shown. Smashing through the rules he established. With your Ouroboros powers, and the Sword of the End, both. The Sword of the End? The sword you hold. It is a byproduct of resonance between the Kavesi Queen's heart and origin. Does that mean... It's like an Ouroboros stone. The Ouroboros stones and the sword, they're mere gimmicks. The crux of them lies with you. You see, there are keys inside of you, too. Inside of us? Keys? Finally, my efforts were rewarded. I'm glad to meet with all of you who embody hope. Majesty? What is it that we must do? Right. Infiltrate Origin, then free it and the Kavesi Queen from Zed. From the hands of Mobius once and for all. If we do free it, will we get to change the world? It's so cruel and senseless. Can we undo that?
Your Majesty. If you desire to have a future before you. I need to know. Zed and Mobius. Must they be our enemy? Noah. Now that is something for you to decide. After confronting them and discerning for yourselves what they truly are. All right. Come this way. All right, um, let's go ahead and pick someone else to be the party leader. And uh, I think I'll go with Tyon for today. Do exactly as I say. Behold, there are the Nadir of the Vortex, sleep's origin. In the sea? Deep beneath the sea where none may tread, Zed spins his world-spanning web. So you're saying the Queen of Kevis, she's there as well? Well, snuff me. I want to save the Queen as much as the next guy, but how are we supposed to even get there? You can't even get near without being ripped apart. Yeah, but if anyone were to know the trick, it's Queen Nia. Seeing as, you know, she's the mastermind behind the whole origin shebang, yeah? You seem uncertain. Right. Actually, I kinda don't. Oh, but... but you're the queen! How do you not know that? This is shocking. Absolute nonsense. I simply cannot believe this. I... I don't know how to respond. Come on, you lot. Rein it in now. Huh? Hang on. Hmm? Mio, don't you... Get to use those Mobius powers. Uh, um, well... Then it should be a snap, right? Pew! We're there. Those clowns were doing it all the time. Actually... Go on. I can't use them right now. The Mobius powers. What? I noticed it right after we liberated the castle. I couldn't work out why myself it was so sudden. No! Is this why you blew us off saying to ask the Queen ourselves? Oh, sorry, Uni. Oh, love. I suspect it must be Zed. Huh? The power of Mobius. It's part of the flow and fabric of the world. What is permitted, and what is prohibited, is subject to Zed's whims. Even with origin. Not every Mobius knows of his existence. But I was able to use the Ouroboros powers. The power you currently wield is, let's say, external to the flow. Even Zed himself cannot grasp what's beyond his reach. Therein is my hope based. <sighs> We're still stuck, though. We know where to go, but we're kind of dead in the water here. How to tackle the Vortex, then? <gasps> Mr. Salmon. Mr. Salmon was, uh, that Nopon from the city. Yeah. Recall what he said about a ship that could brave the Great Sea. Ultimate vessel. That right. Even Vortex enraging Great Sea not slow advance. It'd go down in history as queen of boats. Still work in progress. But sure to bring to fruition someday. It's someone's dream. Yeah, he did say that. Something about it being able to take on stormy weather. Wait, wasn't that a work in progress, though? 
I think he might have been drawing up blueprints? Whatever Mr. Salmon said, he was pretty ardent about it. Which must mean... there might be a way to get there, after all. All right, let's go. Yeah. Finally, our lucky break. Looks like this place was worth the trip. Better hurry. I hardly imagine Mobius will stand idly by. Agreed. Your Majesty! Huh? Thanks a lot. Things are looking up. Uh, sure. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. okay. Uh, I think I understand. If you're looking for someone, he'll be in maintenance, same as usual. I'll send someone to get you. Just head on over. Many thanks. We'll be outside the cloud keep. Just straight up telling I us, just go outside. Yeah. Travis arranged to have us picked up at the entrance. I mean, what are they supposed to do? If they if they try to escort someone as high profile as the Queen, which Mobius would really like to get their hands on. I don't know. It's it's a weird, complicated situation, and it's probably going to resolve in some dramatic way later on. These Entrance stairs are super long. Hey, that gives me an idea. You want to do some sprints after? Obvious already knows where I, I mean, yeah, that's true. I don't know. It's it's weird. Plus, I'm sure that Nia is perfectly alright with being left alone so that she can, like, decompress and not have to be loyal around people. Because that is definitely not her, uh, her personality if you played the second game. All right, so here we are back in the city, which has I'm no just name glad still. The in the city made it through unscathed. Me too. It's a huge weight off my mind. You won't lose, especially considering the fact that. Uh, Mia technically is Mobius now. Or Mio. We won't lose. We have plot armor. Exactly. Alright, Salmon.
بچه گه هم آها فرنز مین او بیوت شی تکت اوی او کوزی این دوک نمبر ثری وات ریلی کیوریوس وی آر All righty. Then please follow Sam on to port. I will do that as soon as I'm done overhearing this conversation. Gondor's grumblings. Excellent. Not really sure what uh, they're expecting me to do there. don't need to show this part every single time. Get in the loading screen. Well, the thing is, like, all of like, either all or almost all of the cutscenes are in engine. So, it's not really a loading screen. Like, the scenery's already loaded. Is this, like, a rare thing? Oh, so you're gonna make me travel all the way there, I gotcha. And you wanna check to see if something is on that. I want to see if there was a question mark somewhere around here, because uh, I want to get the second part of that uh, the sea talking point. Oh, I've had this ship for a while, Jewel. <laughs> Like not too long after we um, after we got to the city, we built this boat so that we can go traveling on the water. So let's go trade this boat in for another one. find a way to it, I'm sure.
So, about this talk number three. Ship is culmination of life ambition, so if anything happens, Simon die of heart fracture. That's why she hid in sneaky like. Is that where you're keeping it? Dock number three, right this way, please. Simon, take you. There's our new boat. <sighs> So this is it. The ship that can conquer the Great Sea's Vortex. So we And you got it all ready, too! Y'all right it's there, like different beast from what we've been using. I'd venture to call it a masterwork. There's a real sense of power behind this craft. Please not to get garments in twist. This is just <laughs> hull. Just the hull! Key elements of engine not quite ready yet. Ship without engine is like a light torpedo wrap without filling of tasty sausage. That crime against cuisine. Torpedo wrap without tasty sausage like ship without engine. Yes, that's where we're establishing things. What is it the engine needs? To be precise, just need core component. Is this part here and still need six more to make. Unfortunately, only have this one here. I've seen that metal before. It's the same as Noah's sword, right? Yeah, looks like it. Also, it's same as metal that go inside fancy eye patches of lost numbers. Friends know eye patches block Mobius tracking, surely? Yeah, we heard that from Monica. That because eye patch emits special wavelengths. This here shows sources of such waves. Points of light on map indicate where metal can be located, but Samon could not visit. Every place is fearsome scary. Can't you just use the metal from the eye patches? Those important equipment for lost numbers, so no can do. And even if could, metal is stretched into thin foil, making total amount not sufficient. That's a shame. Mia, look over here. Yeah, the cloud keep. It's that thing that the Queen had. Mr. Salmon, so if we got you six more, you could complete the ship? Naturally. With that can make ship with power and defense that weather any storm or hole in sea. How long would it take to build? We'll give it three days, tops. Wow, that's real snappy. Good, as time is of the essence. All right. Let's crack on! Yeah! Mr. Salmon, don't you worry. We'll get you your parts. Man! But well, wait! Hold Ponyos! Salmon thinks Salmon deserves kind of explanation. All right, here's the thing. Now someone get it? So, friends want to use ship. Well then, that only means one thing. To make friends search for core parts easier, someone must update data from previously. How's that? Data derived uh, from observed source could only show broad strokes position. But now, someone will make data more precise. Currently, can only constrain to area of about 2,000 square metric. But with a bit more elbow grease, should be able to increase accuracy to within 200 metric. That's good, right? This would be a uh, walk in the park then. Indeed, you do. It might take us less time than I anticipated. Right. 
Mr. Sandlancer, you're sort of our hero right now. So, friends currently have any ideas? Definitely. We know who uh, we know who has the part in the IT region. We should go there now. Splendid. Then, while friends itinerate, someone will will analyze remaining locations. We'll send details when ready. Hope friends excited. Thank you, Mrs. Allen. All right then, let's get going. Yeah, first stop, the cloud key. Alright, before I go... Well, first of all, there's a shiny right there. Secret storage key. Hmm. I was looking to see if there is a way to get that container that's been mocking us for, like... Quite some time now. It's like up there, right there. Now, how do I get up there? Let me take another look at, uh, Oh, there we go. All right. So, what would it be doing here? I don't know if this was open before, so. And now we got that container. So now, before I uh, keep going here, um. I do need to use the bathroom, so I will be right back in like a couple of minutes. Jewel, no getting angry. You gotta go, you gotta go. Okay. Anyway, let's just uh, fast travel directly to Queen Nia. Alright. Hydrate achieved. I didn't expect we'd be going back to meet the Queen again so soon. We have to be on our best behavior. Yeah, I don't think we need to. We'd really rather just be casual. What? 
Why are you here again? <laughs> what? What? Oh. Hey? Oh. Uh, huh? uh, um, <clears throat> the gears of origin. What fate that they would be the ones to guide you? Ouroboros and the Sword of the End have. They brought us this far, so I wouldn't be surprised. I understand. Well, in that case, I will gladly concede it. You knew we'd be coming back, though, right? It was all a part of your grand design, yeah? The future must be sculpted with one's own hands. Something like that? Right, certainly. The future isn't something you can just be given. You do have to reach for it with your own hands, yes. Well, that's the first. Five left to go. A promising start. Yeah, could be worse. Keep going like this, and job done. Thank you, Majesty. I promise you, we won't waste this gift. Wait a moment. How will you access Origin, even with the ship? I mean... We're gonna plunge into the Great Sea's Vortex. And after that? Origin is protected on every side by thick armor plating. You think you'll find a berth? I guess... uh... Maybe? For starters, we don't even know Origin's general schematic. We're going in blind. <sighs> Take this. What's this? Is this... Origin? A certain Nopon engineer was involved. On the Agnian side of Origin's construction. I know. That's an early blueprint left behind from those days. The Great Sea's vortex is likely born from the force field emitted by this middle part, amplified by the structure built up around the circumference. That would be my best guess, anyway. As for the original purpose of the structure, it was a device to deploy a field to protect the facility while it generated an omni-static space. Consequently, this middle section here, it lacks the armored shell, making it Origin's only weak point. So then, basically, this is our entrance. Enter the vortex, and then using its flow, break through to the inside. Once you are within, destroy the force field generator at the center. That's the trick. Yes, I see. However, the internal structure of Origin may well have been heavily modified by Zed. Even after you make it in, you must be on your guard. Understood. We'll be fully prepared. Huh. You've got to hand it to the Queen, though. How could anyone know all that? Shocking, I know. Absolutely. I simply cannot believe this. Come on, you lot. Make your minds up already, will you? By the way, after you met up with Em, you were sleeping here all this time, right? Yes. So then, how did you know we'd become Uroboros? You seem to know what had happened at the castle as well. Even as I sleep, I learn. Information on everything in this world collects right here. Thank you so much for all this. I promise you, we will seize the future.
<laughs> That's the first bit of origin mail taken care of. Oh, call for Mr. Sam. No? Friends find for his part now? Yeah, just a moment ago. You've got good timing, man. What friend's saying? Someone plays call after sea source of signal moving. Very evident proof I've obtained. Ah, well, the uh, you know what I say to that? Nah. His sensors could, it, could detect a small displacement. Truly impressive. Mr. Samon, I'm guessing since you called us... Ah, yes. Have finished location data analysis. For only two places, however. In north of Atiyah region, and east of Cadenzia region. Those two signals, someone could triangulate for more precision. Data just updated, so please to check. You got it. Thanks again, Mrs. Salmon. Not to worries. Please to, pe please to keep up good work. So, Atiyah and Cadenzia next, huh? The one in Atiyah is... Huh. An Everblight claim. And for Cadenzia, data seems to be pointing toward Cape Archifor in the, in the Earthier Sea. Righto, let's get on with it, loves. That sound. Another drop? Or is it like the same one? Actually, yeah, it doesn't seem too far away. Looks like we might get lucky. I'm curious to see if we could uh, go pick that up. Actually, yeah, then it's right there. So I think I'm gonna go pick that up before anything else, and possibly also deal with that guy down there. Hmm. How much of a drop is this? Oh yeah, there is a camp here. I have an open spot for a camp. Also, by the way, hello Tyrion. Hope you're doing well tonight. Everyone, get some rest. Uh, I guess this might start with this. True. Yeah, that sounds like conservatives, all right. Uh, another side quest that I'm probably not going to do anytime soon. This might get complicated. Tch, pain in the ass. Sorry, something wrong? <sighs> I guess I could tell you, Lord. There's been negotiations about who, uh, who from the lost numbers should be stri left stationed at the castle. Negotiations with the city? Yep. So they've said it should be someone who can stay on good terms with Agnes. If there was anyone like that, we wouldn't be in this whole damn mess in the first place. You sound really worked up. And here's the kicker. We've got to keep it to one unit. Can you believe it? The bitch queen strikes again. Well, let's just slow down for a moment. Hey, I know. Why don't you help us out? You've got nothing better to do, right? I would like you to rethink what you just said. Monica's calling us. Ugh, speak of the bitch queen. You you don't reckon she was listening, do you? Monica, what's up? Hey, sorry to bother you. Something's come up and we need your help rather urgently. We wanted to, to retrieve the contents of the material storage warehouse, but there's been a difficulty. 
Huh? Material storage warehouse. The one that the conservatives held? Well, deduced. The very same. According to Garrett, he has not had the time to fetch it. Ever since the sh this <laughs> the sh Ever since the city shifted location. But I can't bear leaving it just leaving it all there. There's a lot of good stuff after all. I wanted to send an army down that way, but there's been a bunch of monsters around. I was hoping you could take out some of the ones in that area. Understood. Thanks in advance. She sure is good at dishing out orders. Come on then, let's get it over with. You coming with us, Gondor? We'll be fine by ourselves. I need something to take my anger out on. You're gonna have to put you're gonna have to put up with me. Just keep track of what you're punching, eh? Side story Senna. So pretty much in order to try to keep this playthrough on track, um, I'm only doing main story quests and hero quests. That is actually a hero quest, so it is officially on my way. Ugh. Let's be off. There's also a quest to upgrade Eno. And uh, I don't know where that is. But if it's anywhere. If I can... Right, the uh, the drop, and also the unique. Alright, so for this I'm going to switch to lens, and I'm going to switch lens to being... Uh, soul Hacker. We have not hacked this one. Let's get to it. Customer. Got to allow for a little challenge now and again. Better give it a good one, Koba. Can't let you kill me up, Noah. Cheers, Noah. It's fine if we break our knees. We have potions. Although it's not so much potions as it is like just healing out of battle is practically instantaneous. Not completely, but almost me as well. Be. Yeah, I, I definitely liked uh, Nia's little uh, fist bump at the end there. Just like, yes, you nailed it. Best thing ever. Until break falls off of everyone. And then it's like topple, and then we start. And someone has days. You have days. Hmm, 
this is a gamble. I'm gonna go with the shirt thing. Oh, that went over! Really? Uh, so we got Mio, so Noah's an option. Let's go with Pion. Substantially less of a gamble this time. And yet... No, the last time I was at 60, this time I was at... I'm good at numbers, I promise. Oh, I just completely wasted Eno's special. Um, Tyon is Yumi's and, uh,. Let's go with Noah and actually, uh, what's cute, Jewel? Jewel, you are a little dirt. I didn't manage to get a Bravo, so at least there's that. Don't dish it out if you can't take it. <laughs> what I gotta say. Oh, that is... Nope, that's barely not going to exceed. Excellent. I love this song. The fact that this game did not win um, the Game Award for, for Best Music is an absolute travesty. I am glad that this game was up for Game of the Year at the very least. And that is not going to be enough, but that's going to take him down to really low health. Since when, since when we take movie, TV, video game awards, seriously? I mean, I guess you got a point. It's kind of hard to take the, the game award seriously when, uh, really you interrupted my move. It's hard to take the game award seriously when God of War Ragnarok won like 5,000 awards was up for game of the year and didn't win. <laughs> you know, the only reason that I even watched was because I decided to pretend I had any sort of chance to win a Steam Deck and of course I did not. Do exactly as I say. Okay, so we've got that down now. Um, there's also the um, drop here that we need to get. No one's gonna mind. 
mind if we just yoink the stuff? Oh, definitely not. Tyon, let's open it. This all right? I uh, couldn't even tell you, Tyrion. I don't like. I didn't. I wasn't even aware that there was a new God, a uh, new God of War game until it came up in the Game Awards. Okay. Yes. Let's go ahead and switch to Gondor. And now we gotta fight Sword Guard Robles in this area. I'm really glad that I figured out that yes, you can fast travel between areas. Seems a bit slapdash, if you ask me. But it'll do. Enough to keep it secure, at least. Noah, you can tell the city. Will do. What's going on here? Oh, hi Shania. How you doing? What rank? Huh? Rank? What place were you? They must have said. I... I ranked eighth place. A reserve, then. But in the third test, there were a hundred people. Only six of us can become Ouroboros. <sighs> if you aren't one of those six, you may as well be dead last. We are one of the six houses. The Reed family honor is at stake. And Vandom? Huh? The Vandom girl, Gondor. Gondor was... first place. <sighs> those bloody upstarts at it again. How could we lose to those nobodies? Every generation up until your father, bless his soul, made the main team. <sighs> if only dear Titania were still alive. <gasps> Some legacy this is.
Yeah, no kidding. Congrats, Slam. As of today, oh. you're officially a fully fledged Mobius comrade. I became Mobius. You can play to your heart's content. The fun starts here, eh? You get a fresh start. Forget about your old self. So I get to do whatever I want. You want to be someone, right? Not some kind of phony. The real deal. <sighs> Don't you have any originality? You can be. You've just got to destroy the faker. See? The faker. Come on now. Be true to yourself. I know who it is. The faker. So now there is Mobius S. Guess that's our ride. They're late as hell. Could have got here in half the time. Let's go meet him. Also, the, this whole thing about like... So you run into a character and we're supposed to feel sorry for them, but then they turn out kind of going turncoat and then we're angry at them and then we have to learn about their past and then we have to feel sorry for them again. It's like... Ugh. That kind of plot twist, it can be a little exhausting sometimes. I do hear some noises. They're probably coming from the laundry room next door. There's nothing I can do about that. Would you quit copying me? You're not even good with those things. <sighs> Too heavy for you. Your sister's gun. You don't need that, did you? That's not where your talents lie. I tried ditching it. I would have if I could. On a go. Contour. I redid my silence profile, so I might sound a little different, but the clacking next door should be a little less now. And you verified that. What's wrong? Mobius. But how would they know where? What? What happened? Oh. Also, I'm muting myself, so that Gondor. probably also helps. It's Mobius. They attacked the city. 
Mobius did. For real. The perpetrator was Shania. <gasps> How is that possible? I mean, we saw her die. Well, it happened before with Yorin. Spock. So she's joined their ranks. Shania. Senna. I knew it. I saw this coming. And still... I couldn't... Senna, you want to see this through, don't you? Oh, Mimi. We've got your back, okay? Come on. Let's go. Hmm. I have to do this. I swear. I'll settle this. On my life. It will be done. Forget the cargo! Get us to the city! Mom! Gondor, take us with you. Sina, you sure? She's Mobius, right? Then we've gotta go with you. This is Shania. You up to it? A friend of ours became Mobius, too. But still, we came to terms with that. Never knew. Real tough cookies, ain't ya? Speak for yourself, as hard as nails. <laughs> you can still back out. Last chance. No, it's fine. I'll do this. All right, then. Move it! Get your asses on board and let's hustle! And the takeoff animation again. I mean, it didn't happen that long ago, but at the same time, we met Gondor, like, at most, a couple of weeks ago. So, it's not as though she had much opportunity to know. They are, aren't they? I didn't know. She had a rough time of it. That kid. She was always trying to please her mum. No. Trying to live up to her mum's expectations. Thing is, sometimes life deals you a shitty hand. We were all desperate. Should have seen the crap I went through. This ain't a sympathy vote, though. You're so strong. More than me. That doesn't even factor. It's your attitude that matters. I hate to break it to you, but that's being strong. I was born with a gift, and I'm using it as all. And if you hadn't been born with it? You see the problem now? Anything? Sorry, Mom. Nothing for the past half hour. <sighs> so 
so we were overwhelmed. Don't you think it's strange, though? Hmm? We've already covered so much ground, but it's been dead silent. That's a point. If they've already overthrown the city, why haven't we met any resistance? No. Huh? This is what she wants. She's biding her time, waiting. Ready to give us a piece of her mind, I'll bet. a lot of doors. You guys sick of the landing animation yet? Because here it is again! You know what? There might have been more dialogue. I'm tired of seeing that animation 500 times. Certain. Looks like she's right. Indeed. Their vitals seem to be fine. I can see them breathing very faintly. Perhaps there's still time. Hurry. It breaks my heart to see the city in this state. If we just defeat Mobius, stuff will go back to normal, right? So at the very least, getting to console S is not going to be that hard. Because this seems to be a level 54 plus. You are? You're supposed to be following me. It's right down this way. Hurry. Too. Shania. What do you think, Gondor? Oh my Isn't it Gondor. A work of <gasps> Shania. Did you do this? <laughs> Tell me. Being Morbius. It's just incredible. Excuse me. I have control. Just look, I can freeze everything in its place. Humans and objects, exactly like a painting on a canvas. That's it. That's why you made everyone stop. <laughs> I even have the power to stop the very flow of air itself. <sighs> what do you think might happen if I do that? You dare. <laughs> it's a real sight to behold, eh, Gondor? I could almost paint it right now. What the hell are you doing this for? What are you after? You're asking that now? You know why, Gondor. I want to tear it all down. This city, and you lot too. And then I'll repaint it all in my own hue. A nice red will do. A vivid blood red. Shania. You don't have blood, That's you have right. boats. You just keep on glaring. Enjoy cursing your own helplessness. 
Can't move. Noah. Yeah. You can't beat us. We've been through far worse than this. You've got to set these people free, Shania. Just like what you did at the castle, huh? Oh, you Uruboros really are infuriating little weevils. And yet, you spent how long trying to be one? What happened to your dream? Like hell, I said I want it gone. It all belongs in the garbage. Your life, this world. If you hate it so much, if you really hate this world, why aren't you trying to tear it down yourself? Change it with your own hands. I told you, I'll wreck every last thing. You can thing. do it differently. There's still a way you can change. And that way, the world will fall away by itself. It'll all change. You've got it easy, Senna. Bet life's been cushy for you. Get off your high horse! You've got it all wrong! All I'm trying to say is... I'm not the same as you! We're nothing alike! And that's why you became Mobius? Afraid it was a waste of effort. You're still nowhere near our equal. What? Couldn't live up to house fandom, could ya? Yeah, we were gifted. House breed couldn't hold a candle to us. So, you admit it then? If that's what you want to think, then bring it. I'll show you what's different once you get a taste of my fists. Or are you going to whip hair? Lose this one, and you won't have anywhere left to call home. Gondor? Well, as usual, I'm going to immediately go under the assumption that this is absolutely not a free fight, even if we are 11 levels over Shania. Especially considering that she can just freeze everyone? Like, what am I supposed to do? Also, Noah was still acting. I know if he is immune because of the lucky seven. this like problem that since Gondor has to be in the party, I only have one tank. And Shania is apparently able to launch, which is real bad. Gotta wait for Slim and Lance to come out of the uh, intro link and uh, then hit my chain attack. Or it might actually be worthwhile to wait until just before we get to uh, enrage. Oh, that's three of us down. Uni cannot go down or else this fight is over. Neil's back up, so that's good. Seven lines are entering again. I'm not gonna wait for that one though, because that's level one. 
I waited for the other one because it was level three. And there's the freeze attack again. Cool. And apparently Noah was in range of that one. So now Mia is down to 30 health. She needs to fucking survive. You need back up. Mio's down. Senna's down. We have no tank. You need to bring back Mio, like right now. And she's down. That's the fight. Um, I want another person to be a tank. That's gonna be you, because you are the DPS who has the lowest um, class rank. And make you heavy guard since you've I'll unlocked you your, uh, or uncapped your ability. Thing is that there's, um, there's only one way to remove the Enrage, and that is by using Burst. And I don't know what combination of classes I would need in order to have access to Burst. So let's try with this, uh, with this layout here. Doors down. The thing is that like the range is not as far as you think. Like they're they're never really clear about how far it is, but like the moment you can see uh, Tyon turn around like that, he's out of range. So it's really not that long. Makes me nervous that S hasn't uh, done her freeze attack yet. Got a level three intro link happening right now, so I do want to wait until that uh, finishes. Chain attack, let's go. Uh, during chain attack, increases critical hit damage bonus by 125 percent. Sure, let's do that. What's your special? When chosen, assure self reactivation in addition to the standard number of reactivations. Oh. So you always come back. That's cool. Alright.
So if I read that right, um, Gondor is going to come back in addition to another person. Yeah, exactly. Heroic chain. So it is in my best interest to always use her. <laughs> Unblockable, attack up. Uh, this will defense down. Finish off with Gondor. And the thing about coming back is the more you come back, the more TP you have when you come back. So our TP is going to keep going up. Um. We'll land so that activates Senna. I will go with you. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, start with Tyon. Then I'm gonna go with uh, Mio. And then finish, of course, with Gondor. And that is actually going to get me a uh, Bravo, which is going to reactivate two people plus Gondor. I use three people, so I have my three people back effectively. I've got an idea. Um and this is my last two mod. So I need to go with uh tie on if I want to go with uh an Ouroboros or finish. So I think I want to do Noah first. Uh, the only safe one here is going to be um, Mimi. Or, yeah, Mimi. So I can point limit, finish off with Gondor, so I get another Bravo, which is not going to matter so much, but it is going to bring my damage percentage up uh, a little faster. Ouroboros Order. Reactivates everyone, of course. Uh, so I'm going to start with Olans. I think Senna's going to be a safe bet. But I can't use Gate. I, I can't use Gale Slash or else. That's not as safe anymore. Oh, that's going to take me at 90... 99%! Mm. Alright. Use my two healers. Both of them are going to get point limit. <laughs> Just as planned. That's exactly what I thought would happen, right? And why not? Let's finish with the person who has the most amount of TP, which is Gondor. Mm, one more point that would have gotten amazing. So that didn't quite go as planned, but hey. 10-42% damage. Turns out Gondor is kind of OP.
Mm. Delicious numbers. Uh, no, I've gotten over a thousand percent a few times. It also helps that I have a much better understanding of how um, chain attacks work. Well, you need down. And follow that up with my Talon Heart. As long as things don't go south real fast. There we go. Yeah, no more chain attack. Pretty good action shot, not gonna lie. them someday protecting the city everyone looking up to me that your dream not sure you need to be worrying about something like that huh they're just a bunch of old fogies just be true to yourself bet none of those farts could make art like this this should be your calling Same as with Yarn. <sighs> You're saying that now. No one, not even once, has ever expected that from me. <gasps> you sure about that? Because I know someone. You were wanted. Is that Titania's gun, Shania? Yeah. She's not around anymore. I have to do what I can. Shania, 
put it down. Huh? Put the gun down. Uh, okay. Wouldn't you prefer something a little more like this? Huh? Uh... Daddy just wants to see his daughter enjoying doing the things she loves the most. Papa. Go on. not ditch it like that's an option much as I whine about it it makes me feel connected wherever I am it's special because it's the name she gave me kind of the same as your talent sounds nice I like it We'll make that world ourselves. We'll make it real. Oh, do stop. You're wasting your time with that. Huh? How much longer will you drag our family's name through the mud? So she met her end as our Mobius. Please. What a pathetic child. Say that again! <sighs> Monica! W what no? Ugh. I thought maybe parents would be closer to their kids somehow. Like that warmth we felt would go on throughout their lives. I thought that might have been the answer we were looking for. It's an illusion. It's a fact of life that the child is born of the parent. But that's all it is. So everything that we're trying to achieve, is that an illusion too? It's all... just a big lie? Senna. Whether it ends in a lie or not is up to you. We all have to crawl face down in the mud, believing we'll come out smiling. Mother. Table set, by the way. Huh? Let's fill up that tum. Sounds nice. I think Shania was able to smile.
Next time round, she'll be fine. Is there a next time round? She died as an obvious. Anyway, side story Senna complete. The city was attacked by Shania, now herself a Mobius. The last the party sees of her before she vanishes is her smile. And that unlocks rank 20 for Ogre Class. So that's the state of affairs. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch people around a little bit. Uh, so you're gonna go back to being a flash fencer. Uh, Gondor, you've done your job. We're going to switch back to Eno, I think. And no one else has reached level uh, rank 10. Looks like no. Okay, um, yes, let's get out, let's get out of this uh, gentleman's way here. Okay. Well, um, that's possibly the shortest lifetime for Amobius since we've started killing all of them. Um, I think before we actually, um, continue with the main quest. I want to see if we can upgrade Eno because uh, as you can see here in Eno Swap, all of these are unlocked upon quest completion. So I'm guessing I have to go back to the Nopon that uh, what that had upgraded our uh, ether canisters or high ether canisters and uh, possibly talk to uh, him about um, upgrading Eno further. Which, if such a quest exists, well, I mean, it obviously does, but if, if we have access to it, it probably is a hero quest. Which means that we are bound to actually do it. But for the moment, it's vital to keep a record of events. It is time for break. So y'all can take a moment, um, get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about 10-15 minutes we shall keep going and see if we can upgrade Eno and. Um, if not, or if we're done with that, then we'll go after the um, the metal or the origin metal that we need to finish building that new ship, so we can go to origin and possibly toward the enemy. So, I'll see you in a bit.